We're talking about Ruby Franca, a name that once epitomized the idyllic family life on YouTube, now sentenced alongside her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, in a harrowing child abuse case. In a Utah district court, both women received sentences that could span up to 15 years for each of the four counts of second-degree aggravated child abuse they pleaded guilty to in December. These sentences are to run consecutively, tethering their fates to the decision of the Utah Board of Pardons and Parole. Imagine, for a moment, the gravity of Franca's words during her sentencing streamed for the world from the heart of St. George, Utah. I believed dark was light and right was wrong, she said, a confession that paints a vivid picture of her journey into a dark delusion. The arrest of Frank and Hildebrandt in August 2023 unveiled a chilling reality behind closed doors. One of Franca's sons, found emaciated and bound, was just the tip of the iceberg. This revelation marked the downfall of eight passengers and sparked a crucial conversation about overseeing family vlogging channels. Franca's collaboration with Hildebrandt extended beyond their controversial parenting advice to a joint venture that promised enlightenment, but led many astray. Their strict parenting style, previously a subject of online debate, is now a cautionary tale of influence and responsibility in the digital age. As we ponder this saga's conclusion, with Franca seeking personal growth and rehabilitation, and Hildebrandt expressing a desire for the children's healing— it's a moment to reflect on the broader implications of their actions. It's a narrative that compels us to question the ethics of digital content creation and its real-world impact. Ruby Franca was an American family vlogger who used to run the YouTube channel named Eight Passengers. However, on August 30th, 2023, she was arrested in Washington County, Utah, on the charges of six counts of aggravated child abuse under Utah law. Out of these six counts, she pleaded guilty to four of them. Consequently, she was sentenced to up to 60 years in prison on February 20, 2024. In 2015, Ruby started a YouTube channel called Eight Passengers, where she shared videos of her lovely family life with her husband, Kevin, and their six adorable children. They gained a lot of popularity, and as of June 2020, the channel had almost 2.5 million subscribers and 1 billion views. However, in 2020, Ruby's disciplinary methods came under scrutiny after one of her sons claimed that he had been banned from his bedroom and made to sleep on a beanbag for seven months. Viewers became concerned, and a Change.org petition was launched, accusing Ruby of child abuse and neglect. Ruby and Kevin defended their disciplinary methods, saying the incidents had been taken out of context. However, the Eight Passengers YouTube channel declined in popularity in 2021. In 2022, Kevin Frankie moved out of the house, and Ruby deleted the YouTube channel. She started working as a mental health coach at Connessions. She partnered with a counselor named Jody Nan Hildebrandt to launch a new video channel and an Instagram account called Moms of Truth, offering parenting classes. However, some neighbors and the Franca's oldest daughter, a college student, called authorities to check on Franca's children after observing that Franca often left the children alone at home. On August 30, 2023, Franca and Hildebrandt were arrested in Evans, Utah, and on September 1, 2023, both were charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse, a felony. According to a statement from the Santa Clara Evans Public Safety Department, Franca's 12-year-old son, who appeared emaciated and had open wounds and duct tape around the extremities, had climbed through a window of Hildebrandt's house and asked at a neighboring house for food and water. Emergency services found Franca's 10-year-old daughter in the house also malnourished. Both children were taken to a hospital, where the boy was treated for severe malnourishment and deep lacerations from being tied up with rope. A search of the house found evidence, consistent with the markings, on the 12-year-old. And the Utah Division of Child and Family Services took the boy and girl and two more of Franca's children into care. Police later reported that, according to the boy, cayenne pepper and honey had been used to dress his wounds. Franca and Hildebrandt are being held without bail. Initial virtual hearings for both were held on September 8, 2023, in St. George, Utah. A status review hearing scheduled for September 18 was postponed at their attorney's request. Hildebrandt surrendered her license as a counselor pending the resolution of the court case and a disciplinary investigation. After her arrest, YouTube banned Frankie from the platform, 
also deleting two channels that were linked to her. On December 18, 2023, Franke pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated child abuse. 